my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys returning welcome back my loves i wanted to come on here and do a very quick but very extremely powerful spell uh this is i'm actually currently working with a client and this is uh one of the steps of the rituals that we're doing for that person for that client and i have been getting tons of messages on Instagram and Snapchat in regards to being favored. So what do I mean by this? Okay, so this spell is particular for those of you guys that have a tendency of experiencing a lot of rejection. Now, this could be not necessarily just with love. This is in every single aspect of your life. This could be as an example, uh, if you often find yourself not being well received or not being liked. Um, a lot of the times when clients experience uh, rejection or as an example, you start to work in this workplace where it just seems like people dislike you. They always find reasons to really just go out of their way to make it more difficult for you two things, right? And and like I said, this is in every single aspect of your life. Um, this could be in love. And, and, you know, for some, it could be that you often feel rejected or that you experience being drawn to people that have a tendency of rejecting you or that overlook you. Or maybe your experiences have been that you can attract, you just can't maintain that connection and they kind of just leave you or they walk away from you or whatever. And like I said, the workplace, it could almost seem like they keep handing progression and, and progress to other people when you know that you're going above and beyond to do what is expected of you, maybe even do more than that. And it just seems like you keep being overlooked. This spell is for you. Now, like I said, this can affect every single aspect of your life. It just depends. But the primary focus of this spell is, which is why it's called speaking favor to your name, is that... A lot of people often forget that we have ancestors, that we have relatives, that we have people that perhaps have put a very bad name on our name or on our last name. And this is what we consider generational curses. Um, so again, if you find yourself on the side of the spectrum where everything becomes very difficult for you, um, it just seems like you're constantly being rejected um, or like you're constantly, things are just really difficult for you. Maybe it's time for you to purge yourself from that energy. And like I said, names are extremely powerful because it does carry a lot of energy, right? And so you can do this spell to be well received, to be well liked, to be loved, um, to be accepted, to be seen. For those of you guys that are going through process of, you know, getting a visa or getting um, legal issues, you know, getting them fixed for your favor, or if you are trying to get a loan or if you are trying to get, you know, purchase your first house or whatever it is, you want to be well received and you want the outcome to be in your favor, this spell is for you. And it's like I said, it is extremely simple because you probably have all the ingredients. However, it is an extremely powerful spell. And this is something that I often do with clients that I can see that they have been incurring or going through a lot of difficulties, a lot of um, negativity. This is for clients that often go through, if they're in sales and they constantly are getting hate, um, just people that are not well liked and are almost like it almost feels like being rejected by society. Uh, this spell is going to open a lot of doors for you because, again, it is the basically what you're doing is you're lifting whatever it is that you're carrying, whatever it is that your mother, your father has been carrying that has been passed down to you, etc. You're cutting ties with all of that and you're being able to fully take your power back. Um, and not only that, but to really rid yourself of all negativity, right? We often overlook the fact that people, people that you may not even know, you know, the fact that they hear about you, the, the name of or the mention of your name, um, and they've already 
construed this this perception of you based on who the person is speaking or how they're speaking about you. Um, and, and it creates all of these blockages, all of this. So basically what you're doing is you're lifting that energy and you're also empowering yourself while blessing you, even when hate is being thrown your way. And like I said, it is extremely powerful and it is extremely simplistic. What are we going to need? We're going to need some water. We're going to need some sea salt. You're going to need a white piece of paper and you're going to need a pen. Okay. That is all you need. That is the only thing you're going to need. And of course, the powerful prayer that comes with it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you step by step. The first thing very important is to write down your first and last name. Okay. This is the birth name that you were given. Okay. If you go by someone or if you go by a different name now or you changed it or you got married or whatever, you want to use your birth name. So as an example, we're going to say, um, let's just put, I'm just going to put Pinky Doll, okay? You're going to put your birth name and then underneath your birth name, you're going to write down exactly what you're trying to do. So as an example, if you're doing this to get a visa approval, you're going to put, I now receive the visa approval. Everything is in my favor. You are going to put that you are well liked, that there is no more rejection. So as an example, no more rejection, right? You're going to put, I am loved, I am seen, I am accepted, I am chosen, okay? Be specific and to the point, make it as simplistic as possible. You don't want to, uh, you know, fill up the whole paperwork and, and do a paragraph or whatever, like, no, get to the point. No more rejection. I am loved. I am seen. I am accepted. I am chosen. Um, you can add whatever else you want to integrate on there. Like I said, if you're doing this for a visa, if you're applying and trying to get a job, I am accepted. I am chosen for the job. I am um, well liked. Um, as an example, if you feel like you can better your personality, you know, I have an amazing personality. I am well loved. I am well received, whatever it is that you want to put. Now, like I said, this is going to be to remove, it's basically against hate, any blockages. Again, we're talking about generational curses or generational blockages that are passed down to us. This is why we're using our birth name and, uh, basically being chosen and being well received, being well liked. Um, so again, make it as simplistic as possible. So once you do that, it's like I said, your name carries a powerful energy and this energy is a representation of who you are. When people speak bad about us, you know, at someone else's table or a friend, you know, starts to spread rumors about you, a set friend, I should say, or people that just don't like you that are creating all of this negative energy, you get enough people talking negative about you, it's going to affect your energy. So this is why this spell is so powerful. I cannot stress this enough. You try this and then I want you to guys to come back and comment in the comment section what your experience was because you're going to see a complete turnaround, you guys. Um, so again, you're going to put that I am favored, uh, et cetera. So once you do that, what you're going to do now is you're going to fold the paper towards you, right? And always turning it towards the right. Why? Because we're raising that energy. We're drawing it to ourselves, but we're also raising that energy, okay? So once that is done, it's going to be something like this. I'm going to put this to the side because I'm doing this for a client of mine, and this is the original one. Now you're going to get yourself um, a water bottle or 
just a container where you can put the water and you want to make sure to seal it. So you want to make sure that it has a cap. Um, I myself am using this water bottle. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add some sea salt to it. Why are we using sea salt? Because salt in general is purifying. It is cleansing. It rebukes any negativity. It removes any negative energies. It's very purifying and is extremely powerful. And it could be used to bless as well. So what we're doing is <coughs> integrating it in the water. We're going to be removing all of this energy that your name carries, whether it's, you know, extremely negative, whether it's passed down, whether it's generational, we are unlocking our full potential. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to then integrate your piece of paper with your name. Okay, and it's going to look something like this. Then we're going to close it like this. All right. Now, this is a very important and I want you guys when you're doing this, I want you guys to fully concentrate and put all of your energy when doing this. Now, the reason why we're using water and salt is like I said, salt is purifying. It is uh, liberating as well. And water is extremely powerful. It is purifying. Yes, but it is also the transmutation of that negative energy alchemizing it into positive, into opening those doors for you, unto, un, unto making you well-received, well-liked. You know, people are going to connect with you on a deeper level. There are certain people that I'm sure you've met or came across that are just, your intuition just repulses them. It could be because of their energy. It could be because of the type of person they are, or it could be because they're carrying that type of energy. So this is how we release and rid ourselves from that. Like I said, if you guys are trying this, I want you guys to come back and comment. Let me know what your experience was because it's going to be a complete turnaround. All right. So once this is done in this process, like I said, I want you guys to be fully concentrated when doing this. Okay. Now in this process, we're going to be shaking it. You're going to be shaking the water with the salt on there and you're going to state out loud. This is the chant. Okay. I now remove negativity from my name. I remove rejection blockages. Let the favor of God speak for me. Anywhere my name is mentioned, let the favor of angels write for me. Whoever my name is. Wherever, sorry, wherever my name is mentioned, let the let there be progress. Let there be acceptance. From today, I will no longer be rejected. I will no longer fear. From today, I will no longer be shamed. From today, nobody will reject. Nobody will reject me. Anywhere I go, I will be accepted. I speak into my life all around blessings. In the name of God and the archangels. Okay. I will put all of these. Uh, I'll put the chant on the description box. So you guys will be able to find on there. But make sure that when you're doing this chant and this prayer. You guys are shaking the bottle. Once my name is being mentioned. Favor will speak. If my name is being mentioned. Protection will speak. I decree from today. I am chosen. I decree. I will be loved. I will be accepted. I decree in this day, abundance and favor continues flowing into my life. I decree favor blessings everywhere I go, and it will never stop flowing. In the name of God and the archangels, I decree all with all witchery, curse, evil eye or hate attached to my name is now removed. I release it. I open myself to abundance, to success, to love, to prosperity, to being accepted. You're going to shake this, okay? When you're decreeing this prayer, when you're chanting this chant. Once you are done, you're going to give thanks to your spirit guides, to your ancestors, to God and the archangels. Now, 
you're going to leave this like this. You're not going to open it at all for the next coming six days, because this is a seven day ritual for the next coming six days. You're going to do the same thing at the exact same time. So as an example, if you're doing this at 9 p.m., you want to do this for seven nights at 9 p.m. If you're doing this at noon, you want to do this for the next coming six days at the at, at noon time. OK, why am I saying specifically the time you want to continue the ritual at the exact time that you're doing this? Why? Because you are creating a portal in the process of this ritual. So you want to really get the energy and influence of whatever planet that you're using, whatever time frame you're using, um, to amplify it. Okay. So again, if you're doing this at 9 PM, you want to continuously do it for seven nights at 9 PM. Okay. Once that is done. And again, you're going to do this for seven nights. So once you've done the prayer, once you've enchanted the water, you're going to put this in your altar. You're going to put it away where no one can touch it. No one can see it. And then tomorrow, the following day, you're going to do it at the exact same time with the exact same prayer and chant. Like I said, I will put this in the description box below. You're going to do this for seven days or seven nights consecutively. It cannot be interrupted. So what do I mean by this? As an example, if you're on your fifth day or sixth day and for some reason, you something comes up and you can do it, you're going to have to redo this ritual. OK, it has to be consecutively. You cannot pause. You cannot stop. If you miss one day or forget, you're going to have to do this all over again. Once the seven days have been completed, what you're going to do now is you're going to toss this out. So my advice would be, as an example, to open the bottle and toss it into the toilet, flush it away from you. Once you do, once you've done with that, you can keep the same water bottle, clean it out um, and put it for safekeeping just so that you can use this when you decide to do it again. And keeping in mind something that I'm often told is when it comes to spells, it's the same thing as as an example of cleansing. How often should you do it? Well, it just depends. If you find yourself to be more social and be around more people and you find that you start to experience heavier energy, you want to do it when you feel that heavy energy. If you feel like your favor or your acceptance or your money is becoming stagnant, you may want to try to do this again. So ideally, you're going to find yourself doing it. You know, if you upkeep yourself spiritually, you're going to find yourself doing it probably once or twice every six months. Um, and again, uh, like for us that we practice, you know, we have to maintain spiritually cleansing ourselves very often, but you may not need to do that as often. And like I said, you probably find yourself, if you keep doing this, you'll probably find yourself doing it probably once every six months. Um, try this out. I assure you guys, if you do this with trust, with faith and do not skip a day and do it the way you're supposed to do it, you're going to see a complete turnaround. You're going to start to notice if you find yourself uh, maybe not having luck when it comes to love and romance, you're going to see that switch up really quick. If you have difficulty being liked at work, you're going to start to notice that people around you are more encouraging. They're more loving towards you, more patient. You're going to be well received. If you're doing this to receive uh, some type of favor, whether it's a bank loan, whether it's you're going to see that it comes through very easily with very little resistance. Again, the turnaround is a complete 180. So if you guys do try this out, come back, let me know in the comment section what your experience was so that you can encourage others as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this spell. Try it out and let me know how it goes for you. Wishing you guys the very blessed, the very blessed. I bless you guys and I wish you guys the very best. We'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.